Jillian Jess, MouthpieceSports.com. I'm here at the Chicagoland Hall of Fame with the University of North Carolina coach Roy Williams. Coach, tell me how it feels to be inducted. It's a fantastic feeling, but uh, it also means I've had some very good players who have made me look awfully good, and I hope they keep doing it. There's no question about that, but uh, it's nice to be here, especially to see Bobby Fraser and his mom and dad since he was so important to us this past year. In the past 21 years, you've had so much success. Is there a specific game, moment, memory that stands out? Well, I've been very fortunate. The 2005 win in a national championship and then again in 2009, so those two things stand out quite a bit. But uh, we've had a lot of uh, really good wins and a lot of good times. Can we expect a back-to-back -back championship this year from the Tar Heels? That would be awfully hard for anybody, but we lost uh, four starters and six of our top nine guys. So. Uh, uh, there is a chance that we could still be pretty good, but there's also a chance that uh, could go south. I hope it doesn't do that. No, I know you're familiar with the talent that's here in Chicago and the success we've had with players. What's your thoughts on the recruiting here? Are there, is there a lot of good prospects? Well, Chicago is always a great place for high school basketball, and you, you see a toughness that they need to have at the college level, and even later if they're lucky enough to play in the NBA. So we always try to keep our eyes out for Chicago. With technology changes, and as you know, over the recruiting years, what are your thoughts on the whole Twitter concept? Uh, I don't Twitter, so I don't worry about it too much, but uh, uh, you know, it was tough enough for me to get the text message, and I haven't gotten past that yet. <laughs> That's a good thing right now. Uh, I hope so, thank you. You, um, you were assistant coach, a big part of the recruiting process with Michael Jordan. What, were the talk, what was the talk in Chapel Hill regarding his uh, Hall of Fame speech? Well, everybody was so uh, thankful, and everybody wished they had been able to be there. And uh, but he was just such a great, uh, great player, but a great competitor, a great model, a great representative of North Carolina. And uh, you know, I felt very lucky to help recruit him and help coach him, and consider him a great friend. He was very honest and passionate. We even got to see him cry. I don't think I've ever seen Mike cry when there's not a championship trophy in his hands. Well, you know, it was a, it was a tough time. He didn't want to be there. He he was hoping he could get a, a 10 day contract and put it off for five more years, kind of thing. But uh, I do believe he was emotional and uh, being there with Jerry Sloan and uh, uh, the quality of the people there, the John Stocks, the David Robinsons, uh, Vivian Stringer, to be there with those kind of that quality of people to be inducted at the same time. And, uh, and I think Michael also realizes the significance of what he accomplished during his career. Coach, good to see you in Chicago. Get some golfing and good luck next year. All right, Jillian. Thank you very much.